द अलार्म बिल्स आर बिकमिंग बुल हॉर्नस कैनेडाज हाउसिंग सप्लाई इज इन कीपिंग अप विद द रैपिड रेट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ Academics, commercial banks, and policy thinkers have been all warning the federal government that the pace of population growth, facilitated by immigration, is making the housing crisis worse. A TD report released in late July also warned that continuing with the high growth immigration strategy could widen the housing shortfall for about a half million units within just two years. But the Liberals are doubling down on their commitment to bring more people into the country. arguing that canada needs higher immigration to support the economy and build the homes it desperately needs immigration minister mark miller said in an interview with the canadian press that looking at the immigration levels that we have recently approved as a cabinet and as a government we can't afford currently to reduce those numbers that's because canada's aging population risk straining public finances as healthcare needs rise and the tax base shrinks A report by Statistics Canada published in April 2022 finds the country's working population has never been older with more than 1 in 5 people close to retirement. At the same time, Canada's fertility rate hit a record low of 1.4 children per woman in 2020. The TD report, co-authored by the Commercial Bank's chief economist, notes that economists are the ones who have been warning of economic consequences of Canada's aging population. The report said a ramp up in skilled based immigration offered a solution government policies have delivered but now the question is whether the sudden swing in population has gone too far too fast the federal government's latest immigration plan released last fall would see canada welcome 500000 immigrants annually by 2025 in contrast the immigration target for 2015 was under 300000 Although the half million figure has caught considerable attention, it is not higher immigration levels that are driving the surge in population. Canada is also experiencing a boom in the number of temporary residents who are coming to the country, which includes international students and temporary foreign workers. Miller said in the interview that the federal government is open to reconsidering international students' enrollments, particularly amid fraud concerns. The increased scrutiny of Canada's immigration policies and population growth comes as the country faces a housing affordability crisis caused in large part by a shortage of homes. Given these existing challenges, experts are concerned strong population growth will add fuel to the fire.